This program is supported by Main Street Bookends of Warner. For books, toys, games, cards, gifts, and a gallery of local art. Main Street Bookends of Warner. I'm Abby Peel. Welcome back to your Yankee Chronicle. The Center for the Arts mission is enriching lives and building community through the arts. One of their efforts is the micro galleries around our community. Now hanging at the Connolly Gallery in the Fleming Center is the work of Peter Anderson. Let's meet the artist. So this show is 23 or 24 pieces of what I think of as maps, and they're really memories or abstractions of places that I have been in my life. And they also deal with uh, ideas of looking at, uh, because a map is a flat piece of paper usually, is looking at the landscape or the earth from above and looking at it down so it's, it's flat. So all of these represent ideas or places that I've been as maps. Well, I grew up in New Mexico. Uh, I was born in Roswell, the famous Roswell, New Mexico. Um, and as a kid with my father and my brothers, we would go to various places. Some of these are depicted here. The uh, ruins, I mean, there's some in Colorado, there's Mesa Verde, there's the Aztec ruins in and around uh, Aztec, New Mexico. And those were always very interesting to me to see the remnants of things um, and the big circles and where the, the towns had been. So that's kind of historically where I got doing this. I've been making art for 55, 50, 60 years. And I've always been interested in maps. In the last two years, uh, an old buddy of mine gave me 50, 43 topographical maps of New Hampshire. Um, that I said I, I, I've been carrying around for a long time. So I started thinking about maps and I started tracing maps and doing that. So that was the impetus for this show, that all of, how can I re, you know, represent things as maps? Because some of them don't, maybe don't, you think of a map as a, you know, a guideline or something like that, but it could be um, construed to be many different things. One of the things, nice things about being an abstract artist as opposed to a representational artist is that things don't have to make sense necessarily. Um, so the colors that, that I use, I use a lot of pastels, but then some, I will sometimes switch and use very bright colors. But I, I try to, there's a tension that I'm kind of going after that's between the organic shapes, the kind of circles and, and lines and sweeping lines of rivers and the geometric shapes that humans have imposed on the, on the landscape but I like to do that so there's a tension and a, uh, a tension that I kind of offset by using real, real soft pastel colors. The colors are also the colors that I remember as being prevalent in New Mexico because it's desert, particularly southern New Mexico, almost in Mexico. So that's where the, the palette comes from. But they're not trying to represent what you would see if you looked out the window. They're, they kind of represent to me what I feel or remember what I saw when I looked out the window because I don't go from any, anything as a reference. I just start the pictures and I have different techniques that I've used. Some of these, I put uh, a tracing of a topographical map in the window of my studio, took a picture of it, and then took that picture into my iPad and used a program called Procreate and then painted it in Procreate and then printed it out on a large format printer and sometimes painted over it again. So it's, they never start out as being any place in particular, but then I'll look at them and this I called Raton Pass. I don't know if, if you've ever been to New Mexico. It's on the border between Colorado and New Mexico. And if you go over it at the right time in the spring, it's green. If you go over it any other time, it looks like that. Um, and this is, I had an uncle that lived in Clovis, New Mexico, which is absolutely flat. It's all the way east on the eastern side of the state. So there's really nothing there, but it just reminded me of the, if you look at it, just roads and intersections, and, and, and again, it was dusty. And then going down this way are the, you know, the Indian uh, ruins. Um, that one, the, the one at the very end is also like that. There's one down there you can't really see is, is I did a Franconia notch because it's someplace I've been. Um, and then going up the stairs, then I, so down here is really New Mexico and uh, my youth. 
Uh, what I've done over the years, uh, in addition to being an artist, I've been an international businessman and I've traveled all over the world and lived in several places. So the show is at the, what's known as the Connolly Foyer, which is at the, in the new um, section of the Barn Playhouse in New London, the Fleming Center. And this is the, the entrance to it is the, through the back uh, uh, parking lot. And this show will be here until the end of April, and then there'll be another show coming in. The, the gallery, which is donated by Jim and Jean Connolly uh, of, of Center for the Arts, is for abstract artists. So it's all, all, of the, all the artists that will be here are abstract artists. So it's here until, this show is here until um, the end of April. Thank you, Peter, and thanks for the explanation of your work. When we return, Stu Greer of the LSPA gives us some insight into the essential need to protect our water and waterways. But first, let's protect your Yankee Chronicle by acknowledging another one of our underwriters. Please stay with us.